this morning I'm uh, heading out of Tallinn to the west of four hours bus ride and ferry ride over to Collection of Islands, largest of which is called Sarama. Spend a couple of days there. Uh, just arrived in Kurasara. Seems like quite a uh, nice, peaceful, chilled little island. Largest town by far on island of Saramar. It's only I think, like 1200 islands and all, some in uninhabited. Just gonna have a wander down the centre, see what's going on there, and then maybe walk back up to the bus station and hop on a bus somewhere today. Not today, then tomorrow morning. There's a few things I do want to see, but I'm not going to be able to do everything because it's quite a large island. See what I can get ticked off. I'm entirely sure what to expect from this. So, first time I've probably been out of Tallinn. Let's get a nice uh, cafe there. A central piazza, nice little square in the heart of Kurosara. Looks like a really nice little place to hang out, especially during the summer months. Daylight today, uh, pretty glorious. This old style little centre, cosy centre. Like a little market areas. It's almost got that sort of Scandinavian kind of finish vibe to it. Estonian independence monument. A dramatic one, that one. Just further up the road here is like a large fortress. It takes up a large part of the city centre. We've been here like half an hour, 40 minutes, and it's uh, already charmed me. Nikolai Church. I don't know if that old Orthodox church Even from the uh, 1700s, possibly a bit earlier Obviously not open at the moment In the centre of this nice lovely little park If you misbehave. Oh, that is some sort of old tractor, is it? 1550. Like most castles, I think it's developed through the various centuries, various centuries. If you like you were saying on that plaque, this must be like the dolomite lining around it. That's got a more sort of like newer look to it, I think. So all over the sea there. Keeping nice and uh, blue today. Like these little chimney stacks as well. Must be on top of some sort of old fort. I'll show they reconstructed it so the blades actually turn. And give us any information on that. Reconstructed later on. Beehive thing you created, cradle. Try and get up here without walking out. Large uh, cog pulley mechanism. 
recreated. Maybe the blades do turn, but they just tied it up. It's like a little castle in itself, a fort looking out the window. Someone's a labour of love, I think this. On to uh, great lumps, fine detail with it, I think. Restoring it. This is where they possibly put the grain in. That turns and crushes the grain, possibly. Things a flower. So they're setting up some large temporary makeshift amphitheatre there. I think concert or something, I think. A lot of seats from Locksmith. It's been like part of like summer festivals every year. Good view out across the water, across the sea here. Views like right around. Good clear view, miles and miles around. So good vantage point. Any potential invaders come up like the uh, Gulf of Riga. I suppose I should have a little wander down to the beach while I'm here. She didn't bring the shorts. I was, would have had a dip in the water now, I think. So there was uh, originally the forecast that it was going to be pissing down part of today. English standing pub, Jumbo pub. That's it. I think I'll pop them for a beer and gasp them for a drink. Grand sort of 19th century wooden villas, I think. Maybe early 20th century. The old barge boarding. Very wonky little house though. Lots of character. Have to look at the windows there. It'd be bloody freezing to live in that in the winter. Especially being by so close to the sea. I thought that's a dog then. I'm waiting for it to start barking at me. <laughs> so it must be the theatre. Terrifying hand. Looks really good actually. Drink at the old weighing house. What was the old weighing house? Now a pub. And what used to be the old fire station. It's like quite interesting there. Uh, Rim School Art Nouveau building. Now a restaurant. And I found this cafe, so I'll land. <laughs> 